We've all been there. Most of us want to sound confident and likable when we're in front of other people, but somehow you manage to always say the wrong thing. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you the 10 phrases that you need to eliminate from your vocabulary in order to sound more likable and ultimately confident. My name is Taja and on this channel we talk about all things confidence. So if you're new here, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's get into it. Number one, I don't mean to brag, but let's just stop doing this, okay? This is typically a statement that comes from people who are full of themselves, narcissistic people, etc. You don't really need to make that commentary because generally people who say that are going to brag and make the statement all about themselves, okay? So when you're saying things like, I don't mean to brag, it really comes off that you're bragging. Let's just eliminate this one from our vocabulary. Coming up next, I already know that, or doesn't everybody know that? This is really rude. Not only is it dismissive, but it's incredibly arrogant because again, maybe someone's making a statement to you and they have no idea who knows what, right? So for you to kind of interject and just be like, well, I already know that everyone should know that. It's very arrogant, very rude, and you're just gonna turn people off. Everybody's gonna look at you like, uh, okay. So please eliminate this one. Coming up next, well, I know what I'm talking about, okay? Again, very arrogant, especially if you don't 100% know what you're talking about, okay? Then you're just gonna end up looking very foolish. But just eliminate this one, right? We don't need anyone being super arrogant and a know-it-all. It's a huge turnoff in every situation. Coming up next, no offense, but okay. Basically, every time someone has told me this, it is incredibly, and it was incredibly offensive. So please stay away from this. You're not gonna make new friends constantly making offensive statements. Who made you the authority to say something that's very rude or condescending, etc.? So anytime, generally when people say no offense, it's just a really rude statement and it's very passive aggressive. So please eliminate this one. Okay, next is going to be to overuse I or me statements, right? This is especially important when you're in group settings or maybe a work environment. It's not a bad thing to say I, like especially if you single-handedly spearheaded something, but generally people like to hear we terms, us, this collaborative effort when it's only solely focused on you, people are automatically, you're just not gonna be as likable, right? So I just kinda want you to push that one to the side, even if you like acknowledging all the things that you've done and how wonderful you are. Let's try to start using we terms, us. Okay, group unit is gonna work in your favor. Okay, next. Oh, I'm just kidding. Right, now this is typically said right after someone says something so foul and rude to you, right? It kind of, people say this to lessen the sting of the super invasive or offensive thing that they've said to you. Don't even make the commentary if you have to follow up with, oh, I'm just kidding. And always remember, there is a little bit of truth in every joke. Coming up next, you probably don't know this, but well, you gotta ask yourself, how do you know that they don't know whatever you're talking about, right? So again, very dismissive. You have no idea what this other person knows. So don't start off the statement with, you probably don't know this. What if they do, right? And again, arrogant, very, very arrogant. Okay, the next one I have learned, typically very annoying and arrogant individuals say this often. You're having problems with this? It's so easy. Like, how could you have an issue with this, right? especially in the work environment. Anytime people say things like this, again, it is an attack on your intelligence and just your ability. So please uh, throw this one in the trash. Okay, so this next phrase is going to be, you just don't get it, okay? Now let me explain this just a bit, right? Sometimes people really don't get it, but that's really rude to say. If someone's genuinely not getting it, maybe you need to explain further, et cetera. But to just kind of say you don't get it, don't explain further, et cetera, really, really rude. I've learned that arrogant people rarely will admit when they their plan or their outline of what they're going to do doesn't make sense. So they're not gonna admit that. They'll just say, hey, you just don't get it, right? You're not smart enough to get that. Don't say this one. Coming in hot, this last one is very common and I think kind of easy to say, but you kind of want to stay away from this. If I were you, I'd 
okay? You don't have to say that, okay? You can offer advice or your opinion on something, but a better way to phrase this is say, have you tried or have you thought about, etc." Not if I were you, I'd do this, okay? You're not in their position, so technically you don't know what you would do. Now we've gotten through all 10. I need you to throw all 10 of those phrases in the trash and replace them with something else. Always remember, my name is Taja, and if you're going to do something, do it confidently. I'll see you guys next time.